Camel pose sucks. Camel pose is a pose which is really uncomfortable for most of us. It's crunching into the lower back. It's a bit scary. If we get deep into it, sometimes we feel overwhelmed. Let's just take all of the shit out of it and let's take the fear out of it. Let's see if we can get into it in a way which supports our lower back, which allows more expressiveness at the same time as being a lot safer. So instead of this, instead of this lifts up with the chest, which dumps the lower back, takes my sacrum in the wrong direction, pressing my pubic bone forward as I read on the interwebs the other day and then leaning back. This is just crunch here. This is all switched off. This is all switched on. This is not a good place to be. Instead of that, let's try two methods for getting in safely. First method from this position. So you're still coming in from a traditional position. Start to lift your pubic bone up and your tailbone down. Lean back into the calves a little, into the calves, lean back into the legs a little, which will engage through your hip flexors and your front line, supporting your lower back. From here, start leaning back, not from the chest, but from the pubic bone leading you back further. As this comes back, start to bring your chest back a little, and then your head and your neck back a little. Hands can be the hips. Lean back a little, pubic bone up, chest comes back a little, head and neck comes back a little. It's really challenging from a muscular perspective, but much less challenging in kind of a crunchy into your lower back perspective. If you can support yourself that way, you'll feel 10 times better. Let's try a different method for getting in using those waves through the spine that I am such a fan of. So with the toes tucked, hands to my hips. Start with an inhalation, expand through the chest, lift up through sit bones, broaden sit bones. Don't squeeze the elbows in because that will lock your spine up, leave the elbows loose. Big inhale. As I exhale, I start to push into my legs, lift my lower belly in and up, my tailbone down. As I lean back into my legs still, I'm rounding that same way, rounding, rounding lower belly in, lower belly in, tailbone back and down. Only inhaling at the top to expand up through the chest. To come out, bend through the hips, leave the head last, come all the way down, rock from left to right. So I'm trying to work into the pose from the ground with a roll through the spine, rather than working to the pose from an erect position and then using all the muscles to hold me up. This way, I can use each vertebrae at a time which will support itself. Let's try a little bit deeper, hands to heels. If you struggle with the last one, leave hands to hips. Same process, inhale, chest lift, sit bones lift. Exhale, press down, start to lengthen, lower belly in and up, tailbone down, roll through the spine, keep leaning back into the hips. Lower belly in, tailbone down, chest comes back, head comes back rather than down. Take an inhale at the top. Keep lengthening, tailbone down to protect the lower back, lower belly in and up, chest coming back towards the back of the room or the back of the park that you happen to be in. If this is not enough, you can walk the hands in towards the knees, tops of the feet can come down, then lean back further. Keep that wave through the spine to come deeper. Come out on an exhale, so inhale, exhale, then through the hips, hands to hips, all the way down. Rock it out from left to right. You may have noticed I made a mistake coming out there. I need to bring my hands to my hips first before I come out. Really important that before you practice this, you warm up, warm up your core, lengthen and warm up through your hip flexors. And also very important that after you practice, you do some twists, some gentle forward folds, some flexion through the spine to get your spine back into neutral alignment. The amount of times I've seen students leave classes looking like this in their lower back because they've done a lot of back bends without counter poses. You need to bring yourself back into alignment. Good luck. Thank you for watching and stay in touch. By the way, I'm in beautiful Catalonia in Spain. I fucking hate my job. It's so bad, but this is what I do.